I love Davies. Oh. But, bro, you need a right foot. You need a little bit of a right foot. You no, cut left a hundred times. <laughs> Maybe on the hundred and one, go right, brother. This is Fan First Net. Copa America is going to have to wait a little longer for Canada. Lost to Jamaica. What would you see tonight? I saw a team that's going to get absolutely dicked by Brazil if they even made it to the Copa America. So. Unfair red card, that's what I saw. And uh, I think uh, Jamaica deserved it, to be honest. Two games in a row where we should have played five at the back and we didn't. And we played four at the back. We played four at the back and then we play two central midfielders it's it's a recipe for disaster it really is jamaica's gonna miss their flight from fucking laying on the pitch for so long so yeah yeah they're probably gonna miss their flight i think i saw leon bailey still lying down up there i don't know <laughs> they didn't give a shit honestly they just did not care at all they just no that was a disgrace what i watched tonight nobody cared nobody showed any heart or desire awful we kind of expected more from the canadian team we, we thought that we'd be better they at home they had one away from home we thought they would just come here and seal the deal but it was obvious Jamaica wanted him more. They looked a lot more prepared tactically. Mauro Biello with the triple substitution. Like, what do you think about that? I, taking Buchanan off honestly changed the whole game. I don't. I still. I won't understand it to the end of the day. How do you take off probably your most dynamic winger who could play defensively, who does it in Europe? How did you get taken off the field? You're a great local coach. So if you want to help me out in a local team, buddy, we're gonna win the Robbie tournament. We already do. We're gonna win all those. We already do. But but leave the coaching for Team Canada for the big boys. It's not for you, brother. It's not. Shit. It's not. Really bad coaching right now. Yeah. I don't know what's going through his head, but we need that Dilf back. The coach re reacted slowly yeah. in bringing in more midfielders, and when he did, it kind of backfired. You've shown already, like right now, in the last five, five, four games that you've you've been manager that you're not capable. We need to find somebody that is at the level of these guys that we pl like, that, that play for our club or for our country because they don't want to play for a manager that's not at the level that they respect. Estacchio, he must be on minutes. He must be on a minutes limit with Porto, but I don't know. That substitution makes zero sense. You Estacchio, you can't, you can't leave the pitch. You Estacchio is him in the middle. He, like, he runs the whole show. I don't want to disrespect Biello. Listen, the guy's done a lot in the past for like an era before for Canada and playing for Montreal and this and that. But we've we've grown and we've taken steps and I feel like it's just we're taking a step back and, and inviting this, you know. Second half, we spoke about it earlier. The mentality with which the Canadian team came out was very poor. You could see the keeper juggling the ball when they were 1-0 up and it was just not <laughs> it was just not what you would expect from a team that is playing a very crucial international game like this. It's a matter of like, the big players showing up, like Leon Bailey, he showed up, scored a penalty, and was, like, even on offense, like, he was kind of creating everything. I feel like at times when Canada plays, especially in big games, like we give the ball to Davies and we expect him to do something magical. Like Even from the stands, like we all stand up, we all know like it's Davies, so it's like, I feel like that added pressure kind of, it doesn't put him, on, like, it doesn't put him under, but it's like, he has the ball and everyone's just watching, everyone becomes a spectator, and that's a problem. I have one comment, wait, hold on. Oh. I love Davies. I love Davies. Oh. But bro, you need a right foot. You need a little bit of a right foot. You no, cut left a hundred times. <laughs> Maybe on the hundred and one, go right, brother. Go right. When the, your game goes through Davies and he couldn't fucking dribble past anyone, like you gotta pass the ball. It, it just he couldn't pass for shit. Davies needs some passing skills a little bit. Need some help up front, bro. Yeah. Need some help, but yeah. I think he needs to look for the help. I think he wants help, but he doesn't look for the help. So if you're not looking for help, you're not gonna find it, right? I love Davies up front doing his thing. He puts in work, but bro, we need someone to anchor the line, man. Like back there, it gets it gets muddy in those waters in the back line. I don't know, man. Davies was that dude. We need that D presence, you know. Davies just. 100%. He's a great player, Bayern Munich star, whatever. But once he plays for Canada, he just thinks the whole game's about him. How, how'd you how'd you come across this? How'd you get this? Stefan's my cousin. Oh, really? Yeah. Stefan Estaki is your cousin? Yeah. His cousin. So, yeah, we got... He brought it into the locker room, and they signed it for us, and then he gave it back. So you gave you gave the jersey to Estacchio, and Estacchio took it to the boys and got it, got it signed? That's awesome. That's crazy. This is Fan First Network. Fan First Network, first of all, you know, today was an excellent game. Great win for Jamaica. You know, it was very exciting. What, what do you guys have to say? Fresh, fresh, fresh. Nice match. I'm, I'm telling you, the match was crazy. So amazing. I'm telling you. Oh, gosh.